Merry Christmas! This is TJ from TJ's Art. Today I'd like to show you how to make these polymer stocking ornaments. Be sure to download the supply list and template. I recommend watching the video all the way through first. We'll start by making and baking our stocking bases. The clay sheets throughout the video are level 3 thickness on my Atlas Potla machine. Using a scrap sheet of clay, cut around the stocking template. We'll need three for this project. Cut more if you'd like. Smooth the edges and bake. Allow to cool completely. Place the baked piece on top of the blue clay sheet. Cut around it, leaving a little extra clay. Then set aside. Add a thin layer of either liquid clay or Genesis heat set medium to your baked piece to adhere the colored clay. As you attach the blue clay, push out the air as you go. Use a plastic sheet if your fingers are sticking to the clay. Wrap the clay around the edges. Then, using your straight blade or X-Acto knife, cut off the excess clay. Pop air bubbles and smooth out. Set this one aside and cover two more bases one with black and one with red clay. Spritz the stamp with water. Press your stocking into the stamp. Focus on the lower part of the stocking for the pattern since the top part will have a white cuff. Repeat for the red stocking. Use your stamp to texture the edges too. Alright, these two set aside and grab your blue stocking. You'll also need a stamp and silver acrylic paint. A clear stamp comes in handy for this step, but it's not necessary. Dab a little paint on the paintbrush, or I'm using my fingertip. Not too much, and not too thin since the paint is a bit translucent. Cover the area that you'd like to use. You'll need to work fairly quickly so the paint doesn't dry on the stamp. To transfer the pattern, you are simply kissing the surface of the clay with the stamp, not truly stamping it, so barely use any pressure. Kiss it again to fill in the blank areas. Alright, these three are all ready to be baked. 
Just bake at 275 for 15 minutes and allow to cool completely. After baking, your pieces will look similar to these. Let's set aside the blue one. Keep a paper towel and water handy. Next, using a paintbrush to add gold acrylic paint to the red and black stockings. Make sure to get paint into the deep crevices. Using your slightly damp paper towel, remove paint from only the top surface. Nice! <laughs> Repeat for the black stocking. What's great about this technique is that it doesn't need to be perfect. Allow 10 minutes for the paint to dry or pop it in the oven for 5 minutes at 275 and allow to cool completely. To get the other colors, like the red here or the green and pinks here, we'll be using the fine tip of a Prismacolor marker. The markers are very forgiving too. Most any color will work just fine. I'm using pink, blue, and green. The trick is to skip around the surface with the colors. Just hints here and there. Keep some of the gold to show too. Okay, I'll start with the pink. I don't plan it out or think too much about it. I just start in one place and start skipping around until I like the way it looks. Did you notice some of the paint came up here? It's because I didn't allow the paint to fully dry. You shouldn't have this issue, but if you do, just clean the tip often by rubbing your marker across a paper towel or a piece of paper. For me, after I add all the color, I'll bake these, then continue to add more color if necessary. Notice how I'm skipping around the surface? Next, I'll use the blue marker. Okay, I'll move on to the black one to add color. And finally, I'll add two blues to the silver.
You may notice me touching the surface with my fingertip when I add the darker blue. This is to remove some of the intensity of the color. Baking will also lighten the color, so you may want to add more color after baking if you like. The stocking on the far right is one of the original stockings that I made. I wanted to show you the cuff or the top part of the stocking since we'll be adding that next. Add either Liquid Sculpey or Genesis Medium to the tops of the stockings. Then using scrap clay, or I'm using just regular Sculpey, condition it and we'll smush it into the top area. We want it to look random, not perfect. See how cute and realistic this is? Repeat with the other two. They have been baked and allowed to cool. Next, you're not going to believe how easy this next part is. We're going to add the texture to the cuff by using white acrylic paint. I'm using titanium white by Golden. You could also use a craft paint. Put a little dab on your finger, and you can use gloves if you'd prefer. Rub it all over the surface of the cup, getting the sides too. Then before the paint dries, use your fingertip and tap the surface all over. This will add a nice texture to the paint. Go ahead and complete the other two ornaments. The last process is to add a hanger and finish the backs. I'll be using this thin gold twine, but you have options. You could also use stretchy twine or regular standard twine. Cut three pieces a couple of inches long of the gold twine and set aside. Next, condition some black clay. You'll need a level three sheet of clay. This time, I'll use the texture sheet on the right. Spritz with water and run both the clay and the texture sheet through the machine at a level two. Here's the textured clay sheet. It's still wet from the water. I'll add Genesis to the back. You could use a liquid clay. As you attach the clay, push out the air as you go. Place your stocking on the textured sheet, texture down, and cut around it.
smooth around the edges. Next, let's tie a knot into the twine. This will help secure it inside the clay. Cut off the excess. Using your blade, gently lift the raw clay. Add a little more medium to the stocking and twine, then tuck the twine inside. Gently press the clay back into place. Bake at 275 for 20 minutes. If you're concerned about putting the twine in the oven, you can cover it with aluminum foil to protect it from the heat. After baking, I added a little more color using the Prismacolor markers, and here's the final results. I hope you enjoyed this project. Merry Christmas, and I hope you have a blessed holiday season. Thanks for watching.